The Kavango West region is one of the regions that has seen major infrastructural developments, especially with regard to the road network. The Rundungurenkuru, Mpungu Congo roads, and the recently completed Mpungu Tumep road are among the capital projects that were successfully implemented in the region. How Siku believes such infrastructure contributes to economic development as residents are now able to transport goods and services across the country timely. He therefore wants to see all Namibians making individual contributions towards building the country and the betterment of people's livelihoods. We have also maintained the mandate of government to deliver public service. And we have extended the delivery of public service to the creation of facilities, physical facilities, the building of roads, the building of schools, the building of hospitals, and indeed the building of all other facilities. The Deputy Premier noted that the peace and stability the country enjoys today was brought by democratic values and institutions that need to be strengthened through regular elections. He therefore called on all citizens, mainly those who will turn 18 this year, to register as voters in the supplementary voters' registration in September, saying this will enable them to exercise their democratic rights during the upcoming elections.